Yes, we guys welcome you all to this tutorial series in digital electronics. In this video, we will learn about the design of 1 is to 8 demultiplexer using 1 is to 4 demultiplexer. From our previous tutorial, we saw that a 1 is to 8 demultiplexer has one input line and eight output lines, and we will have one enable line that is used to activate this circuit and we'll have three select lines if you have any doubt please go to the previous lecture on the multiplexer design so depending on the select inputs we'll have any one of this output that will receive this input information that means this input information will be directed to that port depending on this selected s2 s1 and s0 line okay this is the truth table of a 1 is to 8 demultiplexer of 1 is to 8 demultiplexer this is the truth table of 1 is to 8 demultiplexer so from here we can see that we have three select, select line inputs so we will have eight combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and so on to 1 1 1 so whenever these inputs are all the select lines are 0 0 0 will have the input line directed to this y0 whenever the select lines are 0 0 1 this input data line will be connected to this y1 and so on for the others so the problem is how to design a 1 is to 8 d multiplexer using 2 1 is to 4 d multiplexer so let us first draw to 1 is to 4 the multiplexer so that we can connect the inputs according to this select lines so here we have 1 1 is to 4 the multiplexer 1 is to 4 the multiplexer 1 and we'll have another 1 is to 4 the multiplexer 1 is to 4 the multiplexer 2 in the previous case we saw that we had one input line so first of all let us apply this input line so here we'll have one input line i denoted by i and this input line also need to be connected to this lower demultiplexer also because we need to have eight output ports each demultiplexer will have four output ports. If one is to four demultiplexer have two select lines. Here also we'll have two select lines. These select lines we can write it as S1 and S0. Here also S1 and S0. This is the demultiplexer one and this is the demultiplexer two. This is the input line we are connecting here now. For a 1 is to 8 D multiplexer, we need another select lines. So how to arrange it? Here we can see that here we have an enable input line. So this is the enable input. Here also, this is the enable input. So we have to rearrange this enable input so that we can represent this enable input as S2. Here we can see that for the first four values, s2 equal to 0 and for the last four s2 values we have it 1 so we have to rearrange this the this to the multiplexer so that whenever this circuit will be working it will give output y0 y1 y2 y3 and similarly whenever this circuit will be working we'll have y4 y5 y6 and y7 now let us make the select lines here s2 so whenever this s2 will be 0 this uh, demultiplexer need to work and whenever this s2 will be 1 so this demultiplexer have to work so how to connect this if we use an inverter here and connect directly this s2 to this lower demultiplexer now we'll see that whenever s2 will be 0 will this is the inverter will receive here one that means this circuit will be activated and for the s0 this circuit is deactivated so this circuit is only working therefore 
whenever s2 equal to 0 this circuit will be working so for s1 and s0 we have four combination whenever these both are zero we will have output at this port whenever this s1 is zero and s0 is one from the previous truth table we will have output as this y1 port and so on and whenever this s2 value will be one will have this s1 this demultiplexer is activated and whenever will be s2 equal to 1 we will have 0 here that means this demultiplexer will be deactivated that means this input line data line is now connected to uh, this lower demultiplexer and it will redirect this input data line to its any one of its output this output selection will be dependent on this s1 and s0 values Whenever this will be S0, S1 is 0 and S2 is also 0, we'll have output, this out input line will be directed to this Y4. And whenever this S1 is equal to 0 and S0 equal to 1, they will have this input data line connected to Y5 and so on. So this is the realization of 1 is to 8 demultiplexer using 2, 1 is to 4 multiplexer so figure 2 this is the block diagram of block diagram of 1 is to 8 D multiplexer using 2 1 is to 4 D multiplexer thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any question put in the comment section below and if you have any doubt regarding the working of this 1 is to 8 demultiplexer please go to my previous tutorial and learn from there so thank you hope to see you in the next video